need to find the total work done in moving a particle in a force field given by this f vector along the curve x equal to t square plus 1, y equal to 2t square, and z equal to t cube from t equal to 1 to t equal to 2. So what is work done? It is the product of force and displacement, right? So taking, so taking that force field to be the f vector and taking its product with the displacement that is dr vector. So let C be the arc of the given curve from t equal to 1 to t equal to 2. And then the work done is equal to integral of dot product of f vector with dr vector over C. Right? So this is equal to what is f vector given to us? It is 3xy i vector minus 5zj vector plus 10xk vector. And it's dot product with, okay, what is dr vector? That is, if your r vector, the position vector be x i vector plus y j vector plus z k vector, then what is dr vector? It is dx i vector plus dy j vector plus dz k vector. So writing its dot product with dr vector, that is dx i vector plus dy j vector plus dzk vector that is 3xy dx minus 5z dy plus 10x dz and it is given to us that x y z these values are in terms of t right so can i write further this 3xy dx over dt Yes, minus 5z dy over dt plus 10x dz over dt and outside we are having dt because x, y, z are in terms of t, right? So we have to derivate this x with respect to t. That is why I have done this step. So now writing here x, y, z in terms of t, right? So 3x, y, what is the product of x, y? It is t square plus 1 into 2t square. So it is 3 t square plus 1 into 2t square into dx by dt. So from here we are calculating dx by dt to be as 2t right okay next is minus 5z minus 5z what is it it is t cube into dy by dt so from here dy by dt is 4t right okay then is plus 10x plus 10x. x is t square plus 1 and then dz by dt. So from here we are getting dz by dt to be equal to 3t square. And now taking the limits of t to be from 1 to 2. So from 1 to 2. Is it fine okay? All right. So let's simplify this. So from here we are having 3t square into 2t square into 2t. That is 3 to the 6, 6 to the 12. 12 into t the power 5. And then let's get the coefficient of t the power 4. So from here we get it is negative 20t the power 4. And from here we are getting 30t the power 4. So minus 20 plus 30, that is 10. So plus 10 t the power 4. And then getting the coefficient of t cube. So from here again, this is 3 into 1, that is 3 into 2 t square. That is 6 t square and then 2 t, that is 12 t cube. And then coefficient for t square, that is from here we are getting 10 into 3 t square that is 
30 d square that's it all right so there is no coefficient for t all right so let's integrate this it is 12 t the power 6 divided by 6 plus 10 t the power 5 divided by 5 plus 12 t the power 4 divided by 4 and 30 t cubed divided by 3 limits from 1 to 2 so this is 2 and this is again 2 and this is 3 and this is 10 so this is 2 t the power 6 plus 2 t the power 5 plus 3 t the power 4 plus 10 t cube from 1 to 2 just putting the upper limit first that is 2 what we get 2 into 2 to the power 6 that is 64 and 2 into 64 is 128 and then 2 into 2 to the power 5 that is 32 into 2 that is 64 plus 3 into 2 to the power 4 that is 16 into 3 that is 48 plus 10 into 2 cube that is 8 into 10 that is 80 minus now putting the lower limit so we get here 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 10 so this is equal to when we sum up all these terms we get 320 minus and from here we are getting 17 so that is equal to 303 as a required answer to this exercise. Thank you.